much, Melissa. Here now is Peter Brooks, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Asia and Pacific Affairs. Sir, sir thanks for joining us. What's your reaction to everything you just heard? Good with you. Well, I mean, there's a number of different things here, Melissa. The U.S.-Japan relationship seems to be in good shape. Uh, Shinzo Abe has significant concerns about abductees, about the North Korean threat regarding, regarding missiles. The president has concerns about trade. This is a, a prosperous relationship between these uh, two, and that's good. Uh, Japan doesn't want to be left, left out of it. Uh, North Korea, you know, we, uh, Mike Pompeo, Secretary of State, is, is actually holding a press conference uh, talking a little bit about this. It seems, it seems positive. Uh, they seem to be ready uh, for the uh, for the summit next week. Of course, I think that it's it's a good idea to keep expectations modest. Yeah. This is just a first uh, a first visit, and there's a lot of heavy lifting to do. Well, one of the concerns, though, is that uh, you know Prime Minister Abe, his focus is on those short range and medium range missiles. You know, yep. Kim Jong Un isn't going to give up everything at once. The president is focused on the nuclear weapons because obviously, you know, that's a huge deal. But he's not going to be left with nothing to defend himself and prop up his regime. And that sort of, I, I feel like that puts Japan in a challenging spot because they're going to want them to get rid of the short and medium yeah. range. Well, now you know why, now you know why Shinzo Abe is here. Right. Uh, he wants to make sure, since he doesn't have a seat at the table, and in the past the Japanese have had a seat at the six-party talks during the Bush administration. Remember, Japan was one of the, the uh, parties at the table. Is there a way to make everybody but, happy, you know, though, on that front, I guess, is probably the best way to say it, you know? I mean, it seems like well, there's, there's not. A, is yeah, there? There's, yeah, right. Well, for, first of all, I want to make clear that Japan is also threatened by nuclear weapons from North Korea. You're talking about ranges of missiles, but these missiles can take either conventional warheads, yeah, you know, true. regular explosives, yeah. or nuclear weapons. So it, the missiles are important because they're delivery and then also what can be put on top of them. And obviously, uh, the, the power and impact of a nuclear weapon is different than a conventional weapon, but conventional weapons also kills people. So this is, this is they're both of concerns to, uh, to Japan. So uh, not only is the president concerned about the issues of trade, but he also is, you know, wants to be, uh, Japan is the third largest the economy, Melissa. I mean, it's a powerful country. It has a powerful military that's only used for self-defense. So this is an important relationship for the United States, and it's an important relationship going forward, whether we're talking about China, North Korea, or other international issues, such as the G7. Mm. So what do you think, how does trade then mix into all of that and on top of it? You know, I mean, it seems <laughs> like it is, it, it's, an, it's the other half of this negotiation. Some people are looking at it separately, yeah. that there's trade and then, but I happen to think that they're probably talking about both things at the exact same time and, and the president is probably using both sides of pressure. Yeah, there's negotiations going on even among allies, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not just going to be between President Trump and, and Chairman Kim. Uh, there's a lot of things going on here, and the president is interested in advancing American interests, whether it's whether it's trade or international security in the, in the Pacific. So, yeah, there's a lot of things. Also, there's a significant rivalry between Japan and China, uh, and you know, the, and the Japanese are concerned about that since there is a defense alliance between the United States and Japan uh, for Japan, defending Japan. So there's this is there's a very these issues are very very complex. Uh, and there's a lot of negotiations going on at a lot of different levels to advance and protect uh, American interests by the Trump administration. Good thing we have a president that never sleeps because there's a lot to do. <laughs> Peter, thank you. <laughs> a lot to do thank by you. him.